La jete French pronunciation, la tay, the jetty, here referring to the publicly accessible top of an infrastructural pier or jetty at an airport, is a 1962 French left bank science fiction featurette by Chris Marker. Constructed almost entirely from still photos, it tells the story of a post nuclear war experiment in time travel. It is 28 minutes long and shot in black and white. It won the Prix Jean Vigo for short film. The 1995 science fiction film Twelve Monkeys was inspired by and borrows several concepts directly from La Jete, as does the 2015 Twelve Monkeys television series developed from the film. Topic. Plot A man Davos Hanek, is a prisoner in the aftermath of World War III in post-apocalyptic Paris, where survivors live underground in the Palais de Chalot galleries. Scientists research time travel, hoping to send test subjects to different time periods, to call past and future to the rescue of the present. They have difficulty finding subjects who can mentally withstand the shock of time travel. The scientists eventually settle upon the prisoner, his key to the past is a vague but obsessive memory from his pre-war childhood of a woman Chatelaine, he had seen on the observation platform, the jetty, at Orly Airport shortly before witnessing a startling incident there. He did not understand exactly what happened, but knew he had seen a man die. After several attempts, he reaches the pre-war period. He meets the woman from his memory, and they develop a romantic relationship. After his successful passages to the past, the experimenters attempt to send him into the far future. In a brief meeting with the technologically advanced people of the future, he is given a power unit sufficient to regenerate his own destroyed society. Upon his return, with his mission accomplished, he discerns that he is to be executed by his jailers. He is contacted by the people of the future, who offer to help him escape to their time permanently, but he asks instead to be returned to the pre-war time of his childhood, hoping to find the woman again. He is returned to the past, placed on the jetty at the airport, and it occurs to him that the child version of himself is probably also there at the same time. He is more concerned with locating the woman, and quickly spots her. However, as he rushes to her, he notices an agent of his jailers who has followed him and realizes the agent is about to kill him. In his final moments, he comes to understand that the incident he witnessed as a child, which has haunted him ever since, was his own death. Topic. Cast Jean Negroni as narrator Eline Chatelaine as the woman Davos Hanek as the man Jacques Ledoux as the experimenter Ligia Branis as a woman from the future Janine Kleina as a woman from the future William Klein as a man from the future Topic. Production La Jete is constructed almost entirely from optically printed photographs playing out as a photomontage of varying rhythm. It contains only one brief shot of the woman mentioned above sleeping and suddenly waking up, originating on a motion picture camera, this due to the fact that Marker could only afford to hire one for an afternoon. The stills were taken with a Pentax Spotmatic and the motion picture segment was shot with a 35mm Aeroflex. The film has no dialogue aside from small sections of muttering in German and people talking in an airport terminal. The story is told by a voiceover narrator. The scene in which the hero and the woman look at a cut away trunk of a tree is a reference to Alfred Hitchcock's 1958 film Vertigo which Marker also references in his 1983 film Sans Soleil. Topic. Interpretation In Black and Blue, her study of post-war French fiction, Carol Maver describes La Jete as taking place in a no place utopia in no time uchronia, which she connects to the time and place of the fairy tale. She goes on to say, 
Even the sound of the title resonates with the fairy tale surprise of finding oneself in another world. La jete evokes la jetasses there I was. By utopia, Maver does not refer to utopia. As the word is commonly used, she also describes an ambiguity of dystopia, utopia in the film. It is dystopia with the hope of utopia, or is it utopia cut by the threat of dystopia? Tor Books blogger Jake Hinkson summed up his interpretation in the title of an essay about the film, There's No Escape Out of Time. He elaborated, what the main character finds is that the past is never as simple as we wish it to be. To return to it is to realize that we never understood it. He also finds and here it is impossible to miss Marker's message for his viewers a person cannot escape from their own time, anyway. Try as we might to lose ourselves, we will always be dragged back into the world, into the here and now. Ultimately, there is no escape from the present. Hinkson also addresses the symbolic use of imagery. The man is blindfolded with some kind of padded device and he sees images. The man is chosen for this assignment because he has maintained a sharp mind because of his attachment to certain images. Thus a film told through the use of still photos becomes about looking at images. He further observes that Marker himself did not refer to La Jete as a film, but as photo novel. Topic reception In 2010, Time ranked La Jete first in its list of top 10 time travel movies. In 2012, in correspondence with the Sight and Sound poll, the British Film Institute deemed La Jete as the 50th greatest film of all time. Science fiction writer William Gibson considers the film one of his main influences. Topic. Legacy The video for Sige Sige Sputnik's 1989 single, Dancerama, is also an homage to La Jete. The film is one of the influences in the video for David Bowie's, Jump They Say, 1993. Terry Gilliam's 12 Monkeys, 1995, was inspired by and takes several concepts directly from La Jete, acknowledging this debt in the opening credits. The 2003 short film La Pepe is both an homage to and a parody of La Jete, Code 9 in collaboration with Ms. Haptic, Marcel Weber aka MFO, and Lucy Benson created an homage to La Jete in 2011, for the Unsound Festival, Northern Irish rock band Two Door Cinema Club screened the film at the launch party for their 2016 album Game Show. The final track on the album, Je viens de la is inspired by La Jete and describes the journey of the film's protagonist. Topic. Related media In 1996, Zone Books released a book which reproduced the film's original images along with the script in both English and French. Topic. Home media release In Region 2, the film is available with English subtitles in the La Jete, Sans Soleil Digipack released by Arte Video. In Region 1, the Criterion Collection has released A La Jete, Sans Soleil Combination DVD, Blu-ray, which features the option of hearing the English or French narration. Topic. See also Filmstrip List of films featuring time loops The Glass Fortress similar photomontage style